Hey, this is Steve. I'm going to show you a quick lesson on how to add a decal to a retainer to give it some more bling. Um, as you see, this retainer is already has the acrylic on it. I um, did a two-split retainer. I have different videos that will show you how my techniques on doing this procedure, so it's already done. So check those videos out if you want to see how you get to this point. But I'm going to add a, uh, a decal or a logo to, the, to this appliance. And I have to work um, why I'm doing this because it's setting up. The acrylic is setting up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove just enough of the layer to be able to add this. Um, the key is not to go too far because otherwise you're going to hit into the palette. And it also the key is not to leave it too thick because you'll have a thick retainer which is useless. Um, and also if it's too thin, you'll, the color won't look right. It'll look too thin. So I know that I'm pretty close to the palette where I can start to see that my acrylic starts to look a little thinner. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my decal right down in the middle. Um, before I do this, I'm going to put a slight little bend in it. You can see that. And that's just going to help it sit um, in the retainer better, otherwise it'll look too thick. And definitely you want to straighten this guy out. He's moving around a little bit. And you want to get the pink off the blue, that's not good. And you can slowly adjust them. And why I'm doing this, I'm lightly pressing the decal into the acrylic to give it, push it down to make it so it's not so thin when I put the top layer on it. I also like to remove a little bit of this acrylic. And now I'm ready to add a clear layer of monomer and polymer over the decal. The key is to work pretty fast at this and to not trap any air bubbles. Another thing to note is I'm not working under a fume hood just so I can show this um, technique without fighting over the fumes or the, the, the fume hood noise. Um, typically you always want to work under a fume hood to avoid the monomer fumes for health reasons, obviously. So I build this layer up and now it's just about ready to go into the pressure pot. You want to make sure that there's no air bubbles. I'll just add a little bit. And in a, set, in, a, in a minute, you'll see what the final product looks like. These are a couple other retainers I made with decals in them. Um, I was going to do a little cross promotion. If you guys are ever listened to 80s music, I also have a YouTube channel with me playing a piano and guitar. Um, those are my other hobbies, being a dental technician. I like to fiddle with around with my hands a lot. Um, it's a perfect career for that. And a lot of people I know who are dental technicians have the same hobbies. So you can look it up at, uh, it's under Steve, S-T-E-V-E, Zara, S-Z-A-R-A. -A. Um, check it out, leave a comment, and then that way I'll know that you got it from this link. Um, Good luck with your ortho stuff and uh, talk to you soon. Subscribe, like, share. Thanks.